What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? This is Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. You already know what time it is over here. If you've been rocking out with me for a while, or if you are new to the channel, we talk about fashion on this channel, and we talk about fragrance. So, in other words, this is how I sum that up. If you want to look your best and smell your best every day, you may find some value in this content. So, I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe, man. Hit that bell icon as well. So, anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Speaking of fashion, guys, just want to give you a quick fashion check for the day. Your boy is rocking a Tom Ford suit. Yes, this is from the man himself, Tom Ford. My shirt is from Charles Tierwitt. The tie and pocket square also are from Tom Ford. All right. Now, I'm rocking some nice cufflinks today. You guys may uh, know I'm a member of the illustrious brand, uh, Noble Clan. Let me make sure you can see that. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity. So I'm walking some beautiful uh, cufflinks representing my frat. Okay, the noobs know how to do it best, all right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to be talking about something today. I want to talk about uh, some fragrances that, you know, I've acquired here over the last year or so that I think are really, really good. Um, fragrances I would buy, honestly. Uh, Obviously, a lot of times with niche brands, you don't get a chance to really sample them unless you, you know, go to some place like Lucky Scent or uh, some place like that. Um, Beverly Hills Perfumery, you buy fragrances from there, you'll get some samples of some really high-end niche uh, brands. You know, just different places you can sample, but a lot of them we don't have access to. Um, but these are some fragrances that I would buy, all right, today if I were you. Now... All of these fragrances are niche brands or high-end designer fragrance brands. And nothing that I put on the list is like over $300. You guys know as of late, I've been really into Boda City Victorious. Um, but I didn't put any of their, you know, expensive, super expensive fragrances on this list, obviously. But these are some fragrances that I think are accessible from a price point perspective. And they are really good, man. Seriously. Some highly recommended fragrances, I'll say it that way. So, I'm going to run the intro, and when we come back, that's what we're going to be jumping into. So, if you want to see what's on the list, you already know how we get down, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's go. <laughs> The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. And I'm getting out of the gate with some fire. All right. I'm coming out of the gate swinging for the fences, guys. This first fragrance is a more recent release, a more recent acquisition to the collection. This is from the brand Narcotica. And you guys know if you've been watching my channel for the, this past year at least, I am really high on the brand. Uh, one of my top 10 fragrances in my entire collection right now is uh, Doza uh, Amber Intense, which is their amber perfume. It's a boozy amber fragrance. They have Dose Diablo, which is a, a very sweet gourmand fragrance. I really love it, really unique. Uh, and their name brand fragrance, Narcotica, um, which kind of puts you in the mindset of like um, Black Afghano uh, from Nasa Model. So it kind of has that... Um, cannabis kind of feel to it but really nice again really nice and this their latest creation is one that's made for the summer guys this fragrance is this fragrance is beyond good this is called narco oasis narco oasis guys look at the bottle again presentation really nice on fragrances from the brand and i'm going to tell you this fragrance is a fragrance that you're going to put into that category. We've talked about like the um, creamy citrus fragrances, creamy citrus summer based fragrances. What comes to my, my mind is uh, Chanel Allure Homme with Dishion Blanche. Um, really nice fruity opening. There's an infusion of citrus and fruit notes in the opening of this fragrance. Pear, peach, uh, you're going to get passion fruit, black currant in the opening so the opening is all about these really nice juicy succulent fruit notes and accords in the opening and then on the dry down you're going to be uh hit with this melange of 
sweet gourmand notes. All right, you got vanilla in here. Uh, you have some brown, a brown sugar accord in here, vanilla bean. I mean, this thing is, is mind blowing. So again, if you like creamy citrus fragrances, so fragrances that start off with that kind of creamy, fruity citrus opening with a nice gourmand, sweet, vanilla kind of feel on the dry down, you are going to absolutely love this one right here from Narcotica, Narco Oasis. I'm telling you, I'm blown away when I smelled it. Sincerely, you know, um, uh, fragrance I've talked about here lately as well from uh, the brand of Bodicea Victorious. I've talked about Valiant, uh, how that opens up with that nice, uh, I call it an orange cream sickle. This fragrance kind of puts you in the mindset of those kind of fragrances. Again, it doesn't smell like those, but nice, juicy fruit notes and accords on the opening, citruses on the opening, and gourmand elements on the dry down. You got to put your nose on this one. So, Definitely check this one out, guys. It's from the brand of Narcotica. This is called Narco Oasis. All right, guys. The next fragrance up on the list is a fragrance and from a fragrance brand, honestly, that to me doesn't really get a lot of talk in the fragrance community, and that's fine. Uh, but it's an Italian niche brand, and they do some really, really, really uh, nice and creative fragrances from the brand of Perfumum Roma. This one is called Sodiso. This is called Sodiso, and what you're going to get with this fragrance right here you're going to get some nice woods. You're going to get dark, dark chocolate and bitter orange. There's a bitter orange accord in here and a little bit of vanilla. So again, this one kind of reminds me of like a chocolate cake, but not a chocolate cake that's overly sweet because even if you're talking about actual food, I don't like extremely sweet um, and like uh, desserts and stuff like that. I don't like it to be really sweet. You know, some people like really sweet icing on cake. I don't really like cake a whole lot, but if I do have cake, I don't like a lot of icing on it. I actually take most of the icing off. That's just the kind of guy I am. So this kind of reminds me of that. So it's not overly sweet, but you're definitely gonna get a nice hint of that dark chocolate. So dark chocolate isn't as sweet as um, you may find in some other fragrances that use chocolate. But again, I think it blends really well with that bitter orange. Again, the dark woods in here. Phenomenal scent. Nobody talks about this fragrance. Nobody really talks about this fragrance brand, but this fragrance is Dynamite. Again, it's from the brand of Profumum Roma. This is called Sodiso. All right, guys, and the next fragrance up on the list, this stuff right here is Dynamite, man. It is from the brand of Adamo uh, Perfumes. I talked about this a few weeks ago, this brand a few weeks ago, and this one is called Numero Uno, number one. All right, they have three fragrances in this particular house right now, and uh, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one, guys. I think I have a discount code. I don't remember what it is. I'll flash it on the screen. Uh, but listen, guys, if you're going to really look at one, this is the first one I would recommend because let me tell you what's in here. You guys know I love rose, all right? So they have rose in here. So it has rose as a boozy, rum accord, and raspberry. When the fragrance starts to dry down, man, you are met with uh, a beautiful uh, earthy patchouli in here. A little bit of violet as well. So it's a little bit powdery uh, when it starts to dry down as well. Not overly powdery, but this is just an amazing fragrance. I think there's cedar wood in here as well. So those woods, you know, really start to, you know, come in and really give the, the scent a nice base and grounds it as it dries down. But this is phenomenal. If you like rose-based fragrances, if you like boozy fragrances, you got to put your nose on this one. This is an amazing creation from Adamo Perfumes. And again, the bottle is nice. The fragrance is nice. You need to get your nose on it, man. So make sure you guys check this one out from the brand of Adamo Perfumes. This is number one or numero uno. However you want to say it, you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, now the next fragrance up on the list, this one actually is from the brand of Bodicea Victorious, but this is more so I would describe this as kind of like their entry level as far as price point. Uh, nothing entry level about the quality of the, of the fragrances, even at the more accessible price points that they have, but uh, this one is about $250, and this one is called Bodacious. This is called Bodacious. Now, I'm going to tell you, in short, what this is. If you like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but you did not like or get great performance out of it hello this is what <laughs> you can get as a replacement or a supplement because this stuff is absolutely freaking dynamite all right again uh, 
I, there's nothing really creative to say as far as what it smells like because it smells a lot like lost cherry. So this is a boozy cherry fragrance. You know, that's really what this is at the end of the day. But it is absolutely freaking dynamite in the performance nuclear. All right. So, again, a boozy cherry fragrance. Uh, guys, you can rock this. Trust and believe me. And it smells phenomenal on uh, my skin, at least. So, listen, if you didn't like Lost Cherry because of the performance, I'm going to tell you now, this is one that you're going to really love. It's from the brand of Bodicita Victorious, and this one is called Bodacious. All right, now the next fragrance up on the list, this is a high-end designer fragrance uh, from the brand um, um, Christian Dior, and this one is called Ombre Nui. Ombre Nui. Man, I'll never forget the first time I heard about this particular fragrance. I think Kevin Samuels did a video, and he said, Ombre Nui, Ombre Nui, you stole my beating heart. <laughs> Anyway, but this is when I first heard about this fragrance. I had to get my nose on it because it was a rose fragrance. Blown away. Amber, Turkish rose. It's a little bit powdery as well. So they don't list all the notes. I don't know exactly what the powderiness is coming from. It may be like an iris or a violet or something like that. But listen, this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've talked about it a lot. I don't think enough people have talked about this fragrance. I don't think enough people have this in their collection. And that's why I'm telling you guys, this is one that I would really pick up. Phenomenal. If you're a guy that, that has been turned off by rose fragrances because you don't like fragrances that are overly rosy. And when I think overly rosy, I think more of that as they refer to it as old lady kind of rose smell. That's not this. This is more of a modern take on a note of rose and guys we can definitely rock this and rock it well so check it out from the brand of christian dior this is called ombre nui you stole my beating heart <laughs> all right guys the next fragrance up on the list my god my i talked about this recently my most recent pickup from louis vuitton this is pacific chill pacific chill guys buy it all right buy this buy this all right this one uh citron so kind of citrusy um lemon opening on the fragrance you know so you get that nice combination that nice fresh really invigorating kind of combination mint is one of those notes to me that really uh gives that invigorating you know minty sensation to a fragrance and i love it how it's done in this one uh on the dry down man really creative scent you got some fig you have some dates so it's kind of a creamy citrus fragrance in a way but very 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 fresh at the same time and i really enjoy this one i told you guys before uh, a, a fragrance that i talked a lot about that nobody else really talked about was released by cartier uh maybe about two years ago i think 2020 was called luxuriance this smells a lot like luxuriance uh from the brand of cartier now obviously with most more than likely because this is a louis vuitton fragrance this will probably get more talk obviously than that one did but these those fragrances smell very similar they actually have very similar presentations with kind of green hue on the bottle but anyway nice creamy fresh citrus fragrance you can never go wrong with that in my opinion check this one out from the brand of louis vuitton this is called pacific chill all right guys now the next fragrance up on the list also comes from a brand that i've talked about i would say enough over the past couple uh, weeks or the past few months or so from the brand of mind games this one is called checkmate this is called checkmate now this particular fragrance why i love it so much it definitely gives me some slight portrait of a lady vibes and you guys know that's one of my favorite fragrances of all time but it is not like a clone of portrait of a lady this is a lot more fizzy uh effervescent fragrance and i think that's coming from this very unique champagne accord that is used in the opening of this scent. So you get the Portrait of a Lady vibe because you do have some kind of earthy woody notes on the, ba on the base of this fragrance and it is a rose-based fragrance at its core. But again, that nice, sparkling, again, effervescent feel that the Champagne Accord gives to this fragrance is really what separates it from that particular scent. It's not as earthy, all right? It's not as dark. This is more bright. So I love it. Check it out. It is from the brand of Mind Games. Again, this one is called check me all right guys the next fragrance up on the list if you are into boozy fragrances you are going to love well more than likely you will if you have the same taste as me this particular fragrance from the brand of uh sense of brand i'm sorry of sense of woods this is called plum and cognac plum and cognac and again it's a boozy resinous plum fragrance 
a lot of people I feel like in this world were cheated out of the opportunity to really get their uh, nose on a phenomenal fragrance from Tom Ford, which is called Plum Japonet. It is very difficult to get your nose on that and your hands on it without having to give up an arm, a leg, or a kidney, so I don't recommend you doing that. Just get this instead. From the brand of Scents of Woods, if you're looking for something boozy, again, I love the note of plum. This is something you need to get your nose on, man. It's a phenomenal scent. Again, this one is called scent, from Scents of Woods. This is called Plum and Cognac. All right, guys. Now, the next fragrance up on the list, I did a video some time ago where I talked about those fragrances that have the apple pie vibe. All right? And this one definitely gives those vibes as well but it's it's phenomenal man it's from the brand of daniel hosier and this one's called ombre to back ombre to back so again really quickly and simply what you get with this you get that apple pie kind of feel with this fragrance so a really nice sweet kind of you know uh blend of like apple cinnamon kind of vibe in the opening of the fragrance and I think there's some tobacco on here as well obviously but again it's just phenomenal if you like uh, fragrances like wajan from Parfums de Marley, Ombre Narguilé from Hermes. Um, again, all those fragrances that kind of give off that a similar vibe. You're going to love this fragrance. To me, this one is a little bit more fruitier and juicier uh, in the opening uh, than some of the other ones that I mentioned. But it's so good. It's so good. I can't quite pinpoint what's differentiating that one, this one from those. But whatever it is, I love it. From the brand of Daniel Hosea, again, this one is called Ombre to Back. All right, guys, and this fragrance, this last one I want to talk about is just an absolute treat. It's a treat. It's a treat to your nose. It is from the brand of Mancera. I think this was released late 2022. This one is called Tonka Cola. Tonka Cola, I did a full review on this. If you have not seen it, I will link it to this particular video, but... Oh, man, cherry, cinnamon. You get, like, this Coca-Cola accord in it. Obviously, hence the name Tonka Cola. On the dry down, obviously, Tonka Bean Vanilla. Just a treat. Oh, my God. So creative, so unique, and so freaking good. So, if you haven't gotten your nose on this, I think originally when I did this video, this particular fragrance wasn't as accessible, but I think that it is now. Get your nose on this, guys. From the brand of Mancera. Again, this is called Tonka Cola. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. What are some fragrances out there that you guys would highly recommend? Um, you would say if somebody asked you some niche fragrances, go out there and get it, man. It's really good, and you would feel great about your recommendation. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.